Hello, I'm your engineering librarian, Paul Hottinger. If you need to contact me, you can email me at prhottinger at cpp.edu. That is p-r-h-o-t-t-i-n-g-e-r at cpp.edu. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to use the property search filter in the Compendix database. The property search filter allows users to filter their search results by specific number terms that matter to you. Traditionally, it has been difficult to narrow your results by numeric terms. Numbers can be ambiguous. How long is long? How cold is cold? A hot cup of coffee that burns your mouth is too hot to me, but it is nothing compared to the heat coming off a jet engine screaming at Mach 2. Or maybe you're conducting an experiment and you need to find articles talking about a specific output of power like 1.21 gigawatts. Plus, numbers are represented in different ways in different articles. Take 63 feet for example. Feet can be written as feet or FT. It can also be calculated as 21 yards. Then you have to take metric in consideration. With a property search filter in Compendex, you can narrow your search results to a number and Compendex will do the calculations and conversions automatically. So let's try this out. To begin, go to the library homepage located at www.cpp.edu. From the homepage, scroll down to the Featured Links section and click Databases. From the A to Z database list, click the letter C. Scroll down and click the link to Compendex. Now that you are in the Compendex database, go ahead and do a keyword search. For my example, I'm researching suspension bridge design. So I put in my search terms, suspension bridge design. This gives me well over 2,000 records. Now the bridge I'm working on will be something around the size of the Golden Gate Bridge. So I would like articles providing information about design on a bridge roughly the same size. The Golden Gate Bridge is 8,981 feet long. With the property search filter, I can now filter my results to get articles that provide information more relevant to the size I need. To do this, click the drop down menu on the By Property Search on the left hand side. The first drop down allows you to choose which property you would like to filter with. For example, you could choose mass, voltage, temperature, acceleration, plus many more. For this example, I will choose size. The next step is to choose what unit you want to search with. Since I know the length of the Golden Gate Bridge in feet, I will search for foot. The next step is to select your operator. You can select the drop down menu and select from options such as equal to, greater than, less than, between, and more. I'm going to select between for this example. Now you put in your numbers. The Golden Gate Bridge is 8,981 feet and I want something around that number so I'm going to enter my range of 8,500 feet to 9,500 feet. Once you have all of your information inputted, click Refine. Compendix will now filter through your original results and give you sources that talk about suspension bridge design from 8,500 feet to 9,500 feet in size. As you can see, our amount of results changed dramatically. But the information is probably much more relevant to our project. For example, let's look at this first article. The title has suspension bridge in it, but the size is 2,800 meters. The property search filter automatically did the conversion for us, allowing us to find this article. Just for reference, 2,800 meters equals 9,186.352 feet, so it falls within our search criteria. So there you have it. Just a few easy steps, you can narrow your results to whatever property fits best for your research. 
If you need any further assistance, please contact me, Paul Hottinger, your engineering librarian.